Now, well, there are many things that make owning a home in Montana very unique. You know, there's the big sky, of course, but how to keep that view just as spectacular on the inside? Well, that's where this week's Montana Made, uh, Montana Made features that. Now, Justine Stewart takes us to the Bitter of Valley, where one man is shedding a little bit of light on his rustic creations. Breathtaking, rustic, elegant, and very Montana. Just a few words that come to mind when gazing up at Jim Swanson's creations, and it all started as a hobby. I'd go out, shed horn hunt, pick up antlers, and uh, I had a garage full of antlers in no time, and I decided I needed to do something with those antlers. So he started making antler chandeliers, at first just for family and friends, but it wasn't long before he had more customers. So he took a leap of faith and started Antler Chandeliers and Lighting Company. Almost 25 years later, Swanson is busier than ever. We're just all Montana. I mean, there's nothing fancy about us. I mean, we, we, we build quality chandeliers and, uh, and that's what I do every day. And I just make sure that they're done correctly and they're done nicely and we represent the state well. Swanson says he gets a variety of orders from across the country and around the world, and each piece is unique. It's like a puzzle. Um, it's like anything. After you've done it a long time, it's, uh, uh, you can kind of just walk over to the pile and select what I need, and it all works. And, you know, it, it's just something that happened over the years. Some days he's working with deer antlers, others it's elk or moose, and even antlers from Europe. I've restored antler chandeliers that are several hundred years old from Europe, where I've had them shipped to me to electrify, where maybe they were gas lit at one time, and, and, uh, and then send them back to Europe. This particular chandelier Swanson showed me has its own story. These antlers are 120 years old, and they used to hang in the Great Northern Hotel Saloon in Malta. This is the last one of those chandeliers that I built out of that collection. And the, the really unique thing about this chandelier is these antlers hung at the turn of the century in that saloon, and that saloon was a frequenting drinking saloon of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in Malta. And these antlers very well could have been in the same room that they were in at the same time. So where do most of Swanson's chandeliers end up? The answer might surprise you. I ship mostly to New York State, of all my states. That's my busiest state. And it's incredible the, the amount of people that are from here that are in high profile or just not even high profile jobs. They're just in the city and this is, they want this from Montana. When I asked Swanson if he's had any favorites over the years, or maybe his most memorable chandelier, he gave me a true Montana answer. You know, actually, it's the customers that are my favorites. I mean, I, the, I remember the, the customers and, and just the personalities and, and the feedback I get and, and the offers to come visit people and things like that, that that's really what I remember. And, um, um, and, and I, I do remember the chandeliers, but it's mostly the people. In Stevensville, Justine Stewart, MTN News. And besides chandeliers, Swanson also makes lamps, wall sconces, and other fixtures. He can also create chandeliers from antlers provided by customers. For more information on Swanson's antler chandeliers, you can check us out online.